What is up everybody, I am Grant Burton. This is my Twitch stream for this week. I was going to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but it turns out there's a big update on that and it's going to take forever to get downloaded because that's just the way things are. So I'm just going to try out a bunch of different things that I've been meaning to try out basically. And I've also got a bunch of big topics to talk about such as the Mortal Kombat movie. Ted Lasso Season 1, and of course, the next Karate Kid, a film which is not good, but I have a lot to talk about with that. Right, so let's get straight into it. I am playing Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. I am also just trying to sort out the camera and stuff. I checked out my feed from my last stream and it turned out the camera was laggy a bit. So if that's the case, let me know in the chat. But yeah, let's get straight into this game. Never played this before, but I do like a good platformer, so could be something for me. Ah, I didn't realize Yuka and Laylee were different people. I did not really familiar with this series at all. It's just I like platformers, so I thought I'd give it a go. graphical look and design of this. Very crisp. I am playing this on an Xbox Series X, so maybe that makes a difference. I don't know if it's been enhanced at all. Okay, the platforming, not great so far. Music going on. Oh no, I just bashed Boris. So let's get to the first topic I want to talk about. Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso is great. It's a TV show on Apple TV Plus, all about an American football coach who's brought in to be a manager for a Premier League football team. So getting it right out there to begin with, I am not a football fan, I'm not a sports fan, I don't know anything about either American football or British football or soccer, whatever you want to call it. So, this show does focus on football quite a bit, 
but you don't need to know anything about it, you don't even have to like it. What really works about the show is the characters and the heart and emotion behind them all. But there's a good story in there, basically the managers went, not the manager, the owner of the club has went through a... Has went through a nasty divorce, let's say. And in order to get back at the her husband who loves the football club, she hires Ted Lasso, hoping that the club will fail, basically. And I'm not going to ruin whether or not it does fail or not, but suffice to say, there are some surprises in there. One of the things about this show that really works is that it's just really heartwarming. It's not comedy at the expense of anyone. Ted Lasso is genuinely just a really nice, good guy. But it does a good job at sending out certain messages and getting certain points across and just promoting good behaviour. I think it's a really, really good show and of course it's a comedy, so it's really funny as well. Like, really funny at times. Not always the smartest thing around. Everything feels natural and realistic, except that in some instances you can tell that it's been written by Americans. So when they're saying like, talking about how football can end in a tie. Here in the UK we wouldn't say that, we would say it ends in a draw, not a tie. So there are a little inaccuracies like that, just tiny things, just nothing too serious. But there are twists and turns, there are surprises, there are things that you will not see coming, there are some shocking moments, there are also some predictable moments. But yeah, I thoroughly recommend Ted Lasso, I would say, if you are on the fence with Apple TV Plus or can't decide if you should or shouldn't get that or give it a go, Ted Lasso is worth it. I am watching other things on Apple TV Plus, but I'm not ready to talk about them just yet because I'm still in the middle of it and I was not ready for that there. Italian, okay. <laughs> so here's where I am, about 10 minutes into this game. I'm not liking it so far. I do like platformers. I'm a big fan of like Mario, for example, which is currently what I'm playing in my spare time, which is why I'm not streaming so much, because I can't stream from my Switch. So... So far the platforming seems very basic, but the movement and controls aren't great. It feels a little on the clunky side. But I'm liking the colour and I like the art design. This isn't the first ukulele game, if I remember rightly. I've never played any of them before. Huh. Huh. 
one of the main reasons I wanted to give this game a go is because I believe it's from some of the makers of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and I love that game. But anyway, let's get on to the next topic. And I've got a lot to say about this one. The next Karate Kid. Wow, that's a film. Like, really, that's a film. So the next Karate Kid, the first one not to feature... Not to feature Ralph Macchio's Daniel LaRusso. And I like that about the film because... Honestly, not a fan of Ralph Macchio, not a fan of that character in particular. But this villain, Mr. Miyagi, is in Boston for some reason. Yes, he's there to be celebrated because of his efforts during the war and meanwhile he visits an old friend who's having problems looking after her granddaughter and for some reason she just says hey Mr. Miyagi why don't you take care of her? Okay that's the first like bizarre thing to happen in this film not the last. So it turns out this young girl is having problems because she's being bullied at school she's having a hard time coming to terms with the death of her parents and, of course, Mr. Miyagi's there to t set her straight, basically. Turns out, though, she's having more than just problems at school, because in something that's not really referenced, she is not only being bullied, she's being assaulted and... Like, sexually assaulted as well, at times. Like, at points, there are moments in this film where the bad guys who all look like they're 30, 40 years old for some reason. They are... almost trying to rape her, and it's not on. No one mentions this, no one acknowledges like the seriousness of this. What am I gonna do here? And then, for some reason, the bad guys in this school are all part of like some sort of paramilitary. Like, what the hell? What sort of high school? Which, yeah, this is a high school, by the way. They're all 30, 40 year old people and all in high school for some reason. What sort of high school has a paramilitary? And where they're being trained to be killers. It's absolutely ridiculous and bizarre. But you've got Mr. Miyagi back, played by Pat Morita. He's the best thing in the film. Hilary Strang is there as well. This is, I think, one of her first roles, if not her first role. It's definitely before she had her big breakout hit in Boys Don't Cry. I actually kind of like her. She's meant to be like this moody, angry teenager, and I think she does the part pretty well, considering the film doesn't look like it was directed and at times it didn't even look like it had a script. But yeah, I like both of them, I like their dynamic. The problem with Mr. Miyagi in this film though is that he's not given much new to do. So a lot of what Mr. Miyagi's doing in this film is very similar to what he done in the previous ones. But it's still Mr. Miyagi, you still love him, so that's kind of okay. Michael Ironside's there as the bad guy. I like Michael Ironside, he plays military types very well.
something else. Why did Mr. Miyagi happen to know these monks? It seems very stereotypical at times. But I will say this, I do think the film is better than the Karate Kid Part 3, which Ooh. really took things just to ridiculous new heights. So yeah. It's not a good film. I wouldn't recommend it. But I would say, especially if you're watching Cobra Kai or if you're interested in Cobra Kai, I would say you kind of have to give it a go, although... So far, there's been no reference to this film in Cobra Kai. Possibly because Hilary Swank isn't in Cobra Kai. I'm kind of hoping at some point they do reference. I hope at some point they reference it. Because I do like the Hilary Swank character. And I think it would be good to have Hilary Swank even just show up for one scene. So. Yeah. And just so you guys know, if you're watching, as soon as the Assassin's Creed Valhalla download is installed, I will be leaving this game because I am not enjoying it. Like, I haven't a clue what's going on, if I'm honest. It's not always clear what you can and can't smash through. So I'm assuming now it's just every cardboard box in the game. Or wooden box. So why am I collecting these feathers? What's the significance of the feathers here? Right way to go. I assume this wasn't the way to go, which is why I went this way. But it turns out maybe it is. Oh, didn't see that. Okay. 
Alright, so let's talk about something else. Cruella, the new Emma Stone film, where she is playing a young Cruella de Vil from 100 More Than Nations. So the film looks almost like a Harley Quinn film, let's see. I just want to point out that for years on my YouTube channel and in various other forms, I have been saying Emma Stone should have been cast as Harley Quinn. And this looks like her way of saying, yeah, maybe she should have. So yeah, just point it out there. I said it a long time ago, and I still stand by it. She would be a great Harley Quinn. But anyway, the trailer itself, it looks... The film actually looks a lot better than I was anticipating. Because... I had very low expectations. I believe this is coming straight to Disney Plus, isn't it? Or is it coming to theaters? I don't know. It's hard to keep track of all of this stuff now. But... It looks okay for a Cruella de Vil prequel. I think... It would benefit from being a prequel that doesn't actually lead into the 101 Dalmatians. If it just takes the character and says, right... He has an alternate, like, take on this character, an alternate story focusing on this character. But yeah, it looks like there's a lot of attention to the detail, the costumes, the sets and so on. I think this film might actually be a little surprisingly good. And it's Emma Stone, so how bad could it possibly be? Like, Emma Stone's pretty good, and she's got a good record. So the Assassin's Creed Valhalla update is at 67%. We are getting there. update on what's going on on my YouTube channels. So on my Film and TV YouTube channel, which is just Grant Burton on YouTube, I'm sure you'll find it by typing in my name. You can find part two of my ranking of the James Bond films. Part one and two are both up now. Part three will be this weekend, as well as the full combined video, which I can tell you is about, I think it's about 45 minutes long, the full combined video. So, I don't know, if it's too long for you, why not just watch them in different parts? Whatever pleases you, you can do what you want. Which is why I'm giving you the option. Oh, man. Over on the video game site, which is Games with Grant, the YouTube channel Games with Grant, you can find a full 35 minute review of Cyberpunk 2077. A game which I think is mired in many, many problems. But beneath all those problems, there is actually a good game in there. So go check out that review, it is 35 minutes long, so. I've got plenty to say about it.
So here's what I'm currently thinking with this game. The platforming is fine, but it feels like a game that was made to try and capitalize on platformers in general. It's like someone looked at Mario and Donkey Kong in particular and thought, hey, why not let's do our own version of that? And it just doesn't feel all that unique or interesting or special at this point. Again, this is my first time playing the ukulele game, so maybe I'm missing out on something by not playing the others. But yeah, so far I'm not wowed by it. And I'm a big platforming guy, so the fact that I do not like this platformer that much is saying something. It probably doesn't help either that I'm playing Super Mario 3D World, which is genuinely a great platforming game. I'm really, really liking that game. So the fact that I'm playing this instead of that, well, it's probably putting this into a lower perspective. Seem to be struggling with that bit. 73% it's at now. Not long now until we get on to play a better game. Oh man. Currently at 77%, not long now until we can play that game. Oh. 
man. Right. The character, here's where the problem is, I think. The character is moving slower than I would like or want. Like, pretty slow for a platforming game. I feel like it should be half as quick as he is. Does that make sense? Half as quick as he is? Is that the right way of phrasing it? So if he was twice as fast, that would be too much. So I want it to be half as twice as fast. Yeah. You get what I'm saying, I hope. That. Oh, I don't say I can't get right, that's annoying. How many things like that are there on there? When one saw blade isn't enough, why not get a dozen? I mean, what sort of factory is this? Like, what could they possibly be making in this factory? I'm assuming it's a factory. Like, I don't know. What? What is this place? Right, let's not mess this up again. Nope, can't reach that. So I have got other things to talk about, don't worry about that. Oh. I'm just saving them for when I transition over to my next stream, which will be of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So if you stick around, I will be talking all about Constantine, the new TV show that's in development, Mortal Kombat, and Supergirl. So plenty more to talk about, plenty of topics I have want to dive into. This game, by the way, is on Xbox Game Pass, which is how I'm able to play it right now. So, the fact that I'm not liking it, hey, it's a decent Game Pass game. If you like basic platformers, give it a go. That's why I'm giving it a go. But this, I think, is a perfect demonstration of why Game Pass is so cool. This is not a game I would have bought myself, because I've got no knowledge on ukulele or anything like that. 
But the fact that it's on Game Pass, why not give it a go? It's part of my subscription. And now I know, I was right not to buy. Xbox Game Pass really is something special. If you are an Xbox player, you have to play it plain and simple. It's it's a no-brainer. If you're not using Xbox Game Pass at all, you are messing up big time. came from? Yes it is. Going in circles. something Yum. so what's the point in this why would I want the door to go one way but not the other it doesn't seem to be say I can just walk around it Go and walk around it again. Yeah, I don't see the point in that. So these tonics are just little power-ups and skills and abilities, okay? Huh. 
Huh. Huh. Right. Why would I want to move that crate though? I thought this it clearly looks like there's something up there. Can I not jump on the crate? No, it's not letting me. There must be like a double jump feature or something you can unlock. But even then, if I move it over here, I still can't. Unless I do it like this. There we go. Can I do something similar with that? Can I jump over here? No. Right, well there was one earlier on. Oh no, I can't carry that all the way, can I? I didn't know it was just going to explode in my hands. Ninety-one percent, so we're almost there. Right, what's the point in this place? Then? Ah, right, yeah. Right, so what's going on now? Oh, it's gone a little old fashioned now. Well, that's it. Okay. It seems a little simplistic, but okay. Alright, let's do this level before we go into Assassin's Creed. like a double jump feature you can unlock or something. Maybe even a climbing feature of some sort. Huh? <laughs> 
Oh, I thought there was a platform underneath there. Some... Oh well, I failed that miserably. Wait, where the hell's that little guy gone? Is it Laylee? Which one's Zuka and which one's Laylee? Where did I lose him? Oh well, I'm dead. This is not going well at all. Right, so I'm gonna end this stream here, but don't worry, I will be right back in about two minutes with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And if you're leaving and you're not gonna come back, that's perfectly fine. Just let you know, you can follow me on Twitch, I do stream fairly regularly these days. At the minute I'm playing Super Mario 3D World on the Switch, so that's why I'm not streaming quite as often, because I can't stream on my Switch. But if you're leaving, give me a follow on Twitch, why not? If you've missed any of my streams, or if you just want some video game content like my Cyberpunk 2077 review, then go over to Games with Grant on YouTube. That is my video game focused YouTube channel. I also have a film and TV YouTube channel called Grant Burton, just my name, where you can get all of the James Bond films ranked currently, and that will conclude this week, as well as film and TV reviews, deep dives, rankings, a lot of fun stuff on there to check out if you're interested in film and TV content from me. And you can of course go to Twitter and Instagram and follow me there at the underscore Grant Burton if you want. That's where you can get all of my up-to-date thoughts and opinions as I get them on just about anything. So, this has been Ukulele. While I've been waiting for Assassin's Creed Valhalla to download. Oh, and I die once more. That's yeah, that's just typical of this stream so far. Thanks for watching. I will be back in two minutes though.